Welcome back, Commanders. My name's Dr. Craven. This is some more European Universalis 4 playing as the Netherlands in the Common Sense Expansion Beta Patch 1.13. And we're at war with Pasai and doing some really heavy fighting over here. I'll be honest. So that's a good thing. Um, once these guys arrive in Siak, I can send them away to Banka. So, because we are now in the fortress, taking over the siege, I hope. 21% instantly. Yep, we took over the siege. We have 33% war score, despite a minus 8 almost from... Uh, yeah, more than... Mo Ooh, Colombo is actually minus 2.8. Wow. Scotland declared war on Connacht. That's um, common. Hi, Fervor. Let's go trade. Um, it's quite a few amount. Prestigious, lowish, uh, positive stability, religious unity is at 100%. Siege of Johor. The navy drops out. Gets blasted quite effectively. Trading in tobacco. National spy defense goes up. And they only lost seven ships impressive um, no 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 no. I don't need to have it I need to select the army and then I can split off two of these guys to go and I just want to force something out of them price of Chinaware goes up by 50% wow European traders in China that is very good for us war scores now Positive 7.6. Hmm. Trade depots are now finishing in the uh, Ivory Coast. Yeah, we don't have our ships there. Ooh, Silanese sep. Si what? What the hell? Why is that so high there? Alright, what? Precise war exhaustion is wrecking that. Holy crap. Um, I'm going to have to get out of the war if I don't want Ceylon to fall. Well, in that case, I'll just go and take some land from him. Um, wow, 54% overextension only. Yeah, if we take this, that would be fine. Maybe that as well? Um, ooh. I do want to take CX then. Oh man. We need a bit more war score apparently. Because we're asking for 80 and we only have 53%. Maybe John Poor wants to do a, um, a white piece. Yeah, they do. That should in that severely increase my war score with um, Pasai. I guess that was enough then. Um, maybe these two as well. Yeah, now we can take even more. Um, yeah, it doesn't look very nice unless I take, like, all of that, so... I do want it to look nice. Then I'll take this, all of this, 85% overextension. That is gonna hurt. But that gives me a shit ton of trade power. Um, yeah, let's convert that one. Sunni is hard to counter-convert, though. We have some, yeah. That's all getting cored now. Hello, Indonesia. We lost the conquest Kansas Valley. We do make less money now for, well, not that much. Suspicious indeed, the Antilles. As well as Brazil with their colonial assemblies. The Sai wants military access, and that's not gonna happen. Nope. Austria allows access to our markets again. Um, U30, let's get you back to the Ivory Coast. Oh, did we seriously have this guy? No, we didn't have him go home at war. It's just that our um, foreign trade power is severely diminished, being... Um... Oh, we did take some castles as well. 
Gujarat, Kathiawar. Well, that looks bad. Uh huh. Yeah, India is really um, Pasai's very spread out now. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Zwanendel. Where is that? Oh, that's Delaware. Oh wow. Um, assuage them. So wow, we're gonna have six colonies simultaneously now. But we do have three colonists as well. Our explorer is ready. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's split off everyone, but... Oh, really? That happens now? Ah, so he does switch sides as well. Select him and explore the coast of Australia, then. Why not? I'm gonna have to leave this army here for rebellions and such. Silanese, they are slightly. Let's reduce our over our exhaustion at least, then they will be going downwards. That's a good thing though. This is the coast of Pepper. The Mbamba Massacre. Conspiracy has been discovered in Mbamba. Some disgruntled foreign employees of the Dutch West Africa Company, together with traders from another nation, plan to storm and seize the local fort and murder the local governor in an attempt to undercut the trade company's business. All conspirators were convicted, sentenced to death, and beheaded by the order of the governor. This incident has naturally stirred up quite the reaction, though. Um, Portugal opinions, sure. Here's a good point. I do not have a fortress in this area. Well, that just leaves us to improve Fort Ardenburg a bit. Just so I can build a, ca a bastion here. We've discovered Western Australia. The first thing we discover is the wasteland. That makes sense. Dies in Sankt Thomas. Wow, that's a very German name. Pasai has been discovered fabricating a claim on Palembang. They're not happy with us taking all their shit. That much is um, obvious. Wow. They're not uh, going to lie down and just take it here. Wajuk was discovered. Ah, oh, well. Um, we do want these two as well as Mentawai. Um, heavy ships, you're gonna come back to Holland, to uh, Vlaanderen, and I will also build three more heavies, three more galleons. I'll build them here because apparently we can now build 24 more light ships, um, lose the prestige. So, 24 more light ships. Takes a gazillion amount of time if I build them here, but fine, whatever. There. It's because they use Friesland to build it, and we don't have a shipyard there. We do have. Yeah, we, it's all, he's almost there. Lorraine declared warp on their new enemy, Burgundy. Jesus, that's high. Um, might actually have to be on this side then. It's gonna be impossible to stop all of the uh, rebellions simultaneously. Turn back into city, rival of rival, Papal State again. It's 25 diplo power, so I might have to take a look. Competing great power, really. Apparently the Pope is now a great power. In that case, just turn Banca into a city. What was the reward? Oh, base production goes up as well. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, let's. That's also a good point. Um, let's add the entire freaking area to the trade company. Less tax, less missionary strength. Oh. That is a good point. 
So when, if they're in a trade company, missionaries will be even worse off there. We have... We don't have any hmm, inquisitors. Yeah, well. Bunjilung and Ayora. <laughs> Let's score the last one then. We're now already up to 70%. Jesus. Only 52 though to hard street them. Yeah, election 111. I have to take the 111 though. Because I don't want to have the Orangists in charge at all. And that's going to be uh, painful for a long time. Yeah. Learned about Mexico. Oh, the province Mexico. Okay. Yeah, that's actually obvious. Um, ah, yes. You need to go back to hunting. The hunt for the seven sitters. Um, Hochelega nearly finished. Prospering times. Frederick Hendrik II has become renowned for our country's artistic achievements and blossoming economy. Artists, philosophers and poets are flocking to Holland and the thriving economy has followed extensive artistic funding. Several fine architectural buildings are being erected and beautiful gardens are built to demonstrate our country's wealth and many members of our new intellectual elite have ideas on how to improve various parts of our country. Um, it's Matamba, which is kind of annoying and bullshit. Um, yeah, administrative then. Huh. Accommodation with natives in Banca, not bad. Oh, the French are attacking the English. Holy crap, France. You've been uh, growing here. Costa Rica. Oh well. Moscow will be forced to give Riga 10% of the income. Say what now? Muscovy was forced to give Riga money. Holy crap. Yep, this is a weird world. Provence completely took Brittany, apparently. Uh, these guys are still working over there. Um, yeah. Combine you two, thank you. Air supplies is good, that's not bad in Zwanendal. Linga missionary is working is actually faster than the core constructions. Ah, we have a self sustaining colony. Okay, um, let's go to Ariskantigok. I don't have one available right now, so they're all in provinces. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Revoke reform. Well, um, H3 has no reforms left. That is quite amusing, to say the least. St. Thomas, no one there. Swanendal, so yeah, they probably have someone. Wait, what? The Euron? Are you kidding me? You're losing against natives right now, you know that, New Netherlands? Jesus. Huh. Wow. Trade company boon. Um, 10 years of 10% efficiency, I prefer that. Just because it's so much more nice. Hang on. Malakan rebels will be rising up in... Malacca and Bintan, so Malacca and 
That is on the other side. God damn it. But not in Johor. In Johor it's different ones. I guess. Ah, oh, yeah. Hmm. National Unrest. Yay, that's just a drop in the bucket. New Caledonia. Okay, so... Lots of Australia has now been discovered. That's good. Portugal cancelled the trade. Ah, there is finally, after three episodes after that playtest we did, the finally the event happens. The tulip was introduced in Europe in the 1550s from the Ottoman Empire. They quickly became popular among the rich merchants in the Netherlands as a luxury item. The market grew, and in 1634, when demand increased in France, speculators entered the market. In 1636, a futures market was created, and during the Ottoman winter, the prices skyrocketed until the prices collapsed in February 1637. The result was the bankruptcy of many, an economical disaster. So either we lose one stability, we get three national unrest for 10 years, as well as stability cost goes up by 50%, and we have less goods produced, or... We just take 10 inflation. I'm gonna take the 10 inflation. We can reduce the inflation with admin power anyway, so that's gonna be a little bit useful. As long as you're below 10, nothing really bad can happen. And just things cost more for a little bit. But it's a tulip alert. And uh, there is the rebellion. Um, we are not converting that island, no. I have to be fast, though. Minority prosperous. Local tax in Antwerp goes up. Come on. Why it take so long over those rebels? Great, they're gonna get the siege done. Um, we've discovered Fiji for the glory of our realm. Well, at least now they won't be rising up anytime soon. Ah, not everything is going well, especially in the middle of a tulip crisis. Tonga, we've discovered Samoa. What's the next one? Pasai separatists. That would be in five different provinces possible. And it is over 20%, which is very high. How can you still... Oh my god, still 0.1% chance to have them rebel. Holy crap. Um, society Islands. Okay, a most deadly lake. Just go around it every time. I need you to... Yeah, w wow, our trade value in Lubeck has dropped. Despite the 70 there. And it's mostly because of um, reasons. Because of our overextension. It's really hurting that. I should send you to... Oh, that's a good one. Let's actually look at the trade map for a change then. Are you moving money out here? Yeah, we are. Um, let's go to the Chesapeake Bay then. Why not? We don't really have the strength to move money out of Malacca yet, with a merchant at least. Yay, our first conversion is complete. Let's start coring it. And now we can add it to the trade company. Trade companies actually give naval force limits. That is interesting. Fish will now be produced in Banca. All the cores. Some are at 80 something percent. Some of them are lower because they started later. Oh well, separatists are going to rise soon. But it's going to be time to end this episode. I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. Um, let's improve some more relations before we go. And I will see you guys later.